Hello Virgo. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your zodiac reading for the next week to 10 days or whenever you clicked on the title that intrigued you. Let's start with the fairy oracles. I uh, wonder if that's the right ones to start with. Quite possibly. We have you, the oak man. This is about deep inner wisdom. The old man of the forest. You looking within, sorting things out in your mind. And this is about clear communication. Being able to finally clearly communicate with another. Uh, this looks like this conversation that's going back and forth between you and this person, person um, or people. Um, there's clarity, there's wisdom, there's truth, there's understanding. Perhaps in the past you were not able to communicate so clearly and things just seem to be coming to a point now that you're able to do that. Now, this was interesting because we have the sorcerer, sorcerer, the mystical shaman and soul retrieval. The sorcerer invites you to have a look at yourself. Um, deep within yourself, certain behaviors, patterns. Um, I want to read something from that, too, which I found quite interesting. Let's have a look here, Virgo. Important stuff. Because when this uh, card shows up, you're being called to look at how your beliefs about scarcity and self-centered fear manifest in your world. Examine the destructive part of your psyche that misuses power or harbors feelings of resentment, vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry, or hatred. Perhaps you've harmed someone because of this dark tendency. If so, all is not lost. You've only forgotten that all beings are interconnected and the universe is abundant. The sorcerer arrives to challenge you to change your thinking. You've given, you're given a second chance. Correct your course and practice not blaming others for the darkness that lives inside you. Make peace with it and choose another way. Actually, Virgos, I know a lot of you Virgos have been doing exactly that. The mystical shaman has, again, about letting go of old belief patterns. 38. Honestly, guys, I could not describe these cards any better than what the book writes because they, they're just so beautifully written. I love this deck. The Mystical Shaman. Inviting you to consider the ability to let go, detach, impartially observe the stories that you tell others. Uh, tell yourself and you tell others. You do not have to live a story. You do not have to live in a story that has roots in the past. You're invited to create and dream your life. To act on inspiration and divine impulse without fixating on any known story of success or achievement. And this one, again, soul retrieval. The way you wanted things to work out, Virgo, is not the way it was meant to be. Virgos are very analytical. They have a certain structured way of making things happen to create their life around them. These cards are telling you that uh, blueprint is being thrown out the window to detach from what you thought things were going to turn out as are not necessarily how they were meant to turn out this soul retrieval whatever you've been through and whatever threw you for a loop because it just didn't turn out the way you wanted had everything to do with bringing back your soul the part of your soul that was lost we've got lots of magic here the short sorcerer and the shaman. The looking at the dark side of yourself and letting go of these old thought patterns, building new neuro pathways. This was all to bring your soul back to into a wholeness. 
whatever this journey is. Quite amazing, Virgo. Let's get into the tarot part of your reading. Those are the clarifiers. And every day, Virgo, I have a message over at Facebook. Um, do visit us over there for inspirational posts and advice. And personal readings are now back open at the website. If you want to look into that, uh, their the personal readings are actually cheaper for members of the website and being a member is only $10 a month, uh, but it does give you a discount on your personal readings. It also gives you access to all the Zodiacs and the afternoon delights for a month. So check it out. The star card, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the, uh, not necessarily, the energies are that of hopes, dreams, wishes, and portals. This could be healing, forgiveness. Um, we have some. It's like you're taking some steps here, Virgo. Or getting ready to take some steps. The crowning energy is the seven of earth. This is about something that you have worked on, cultivated. And wondering if your harvest will ever come in about a situation or a person. To the point of near exhaustion. Um, this usually is a card of spirit saying to be patient. Four of water, there is an opportunity coming in, and it's a beauty. Compared to the rest of the pearls, you may be wondering if it's just like the other pearls, but it seems bigger because it's closer to your face. Not so. This is not a repeated cycle. This is an opportunity that is spirit-driven. King of Earth, this is probably you, Virgo. Or you could be dealing with another Earth sign. A Capricorn, perhaps. Could be a boss, or you could be the boss. Someone who wants to make an offer of stability, a promotion, a higher level of security. Or someone is looking at you and sees you this way, sees you as stoic, commanding, like a boss. Hierophant, look at you holding your crown up. This is also the uh, card of Taurus. Not necessarily that you're dealing with a Taurus, but the energy is of sanctity, of marriage, of unionship with another. It is also about uh, on this, your ascended master guiding you, saying you're ready to embark on this journey. You have learned all you can. It is now ready to embark on this new journey that you are preparing for. Right now, you're being single and happy, even grateful. You're self-sufficient, independent. The only thing missing is a partner, which would be your Ten of Pentacles. This is nine. This is you reaching that pinnacle of success, um, self-nurturing, even grateful for where you are. But it also looks like you're praying a bit for a partner. Nine of fire is about energy depletion. Having your boundaries up, um, maybe too much so. Ten is completion when you can actually lay your, your burdens down. But right now you've had your boundaries up for quite some time to protect yourself. And just in the act of trying to keep those boundaries up, it has depleted your energy. Three of fire, your ship's coming in. And more than you expected. This is, we're getting into the center of the reading now. Messenger of Earth, you are moving forward slowly. You're taking your time. There is nothing wrong with that. Take your time. But here's the, isn't this lovely? You're taking your time now, Virgo, because you can see your ships coming in. You're like, I don't have to worry. I'm going to go get myself a cup of coffee and a sandwich and sit here on the dock and watch my ships come in. No rush. Three of water because you're going to be celebrating and you see this celebration coming. Ace of Earth, this is an, oh my gosh, this is spirit, universe. This is the universe bringing you a brand new opportunity, 
a brand new beginning. This beginning, whether it is a relationship or a job, is going to bring you security, stability, and a legacy. This is a blessing from the heavens. Like a reward. And it's coming in, someone coming in to make an offer. Could be you making an offer. Virgo, wanting to make an offer to someone um, that brings more stability into a relationship or work situation. Or someone coming towards you. It could be someone just coming to bring you a gift. It's Virgo season, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to get presents. Someone's going to send you an, a lovely gift. And look at this. I guess you really liked that gift, didn't you? Because here you are crowned in glory. This is your new cycle. This is your new cycle. And it's a beautiful one. It's you're literally going to be blessed in this next cycle. Very blessed with the Hierophant. Your ship's coming in. Being able to, the patience. Up here, you were wondering if that harvest would ever come in. Here, that patience pays off in celebration. This opportunity that's coming in for you is the Pearl of Pearls. It brings new beginnings. These are beautiful cards. Let's hit the clarifiers. There's the Ten of Wands where you lay down your burdens. These are responsibilities that you carry that belong to other people anyway. Uh, they're not even your wands, but you've been carrying the load for many people. And you're at the end of the trail where you're, you're laying down those burdens saying, Okay, I've taken good care of this for you. I've made sure that was taken care of. You should be good to go. Now I need to go and have a bit of a, a, a life of my own and laying down those burdens and going for the things that you desire. Seven of Earth is going to be clarified by the Five of Wands. There's some um, jealousy over this harvest that you're waiting on. Uh, maybe they don't like that you're waiting on this. Uh, a lot of advice and opinions here. But look, at you're turned away from it. You're, you're listening to spirit. You're listening to your your guardians, your spirit guides, even though this gaggle of people and they do, they mean well, there's no animosity here, uh, except that, you know, they feel entitled. All want to guide you, uh, but there you are at the top. Making up your own mind. Four of water. Oh, God, Virgo, does this mean, what does this mean? This means, even though the, the seas are roiling behind you, you're finding your balance. You're able to multitask quite successfully. I just pray to God this doesn't mean you're multitasking partners, you know, because if it's a three-party situation, that's just nasty. It's so unfair to to anyone else. Uh, but it does look like whatever you've been working at for the longest time, possibly. Perhaps that laying down of those burdens, responsibilities, all these responsibilities that you've had, you've been able to su successfully multitask. So when this opportunity comes in, you're going to be weighing it, weighing it in very seriously um a reminder virgo when this card shows up this opportunity came from the spirit so even if it's a person or a job being offered to you this came from spirit and it can be a missed opportunity this card when it comes out in this deck does not usually mean you miss the opportunity but you are considering a you know maybe the yes or no thing or how to weigh it, how to juggle it in with everything else that you've got. You may have to sacrifice something else in order to bring this opportunity in. Perhaps you don't like that idea. But remember what the Shaman Oracle said, Virgo, This, the way you want things to turn out is not what was your destined um, path. 
and Virgos like to have everything just so worked out as planned by the book. Sometimes you have to throw the book out and create a whole new thing. Ace of Wands. This is you having a passionate new beginning. Look at you. Virgo's having a passionate new beginning. And the beauty of it is that you're still boss. You still have security and stability. Only more of it. The Hierophant is going to be clarified by the King of Cups. Ooh. The King of Cups is the King of Love. Whether this is male or female. Could be you're dealing with a water sign, but or another earth sign. Uh, but this person is devoted to you. This person is completely devoted to you, faithful to you, only you. No one else could uh, replace you. I'm almost getting the... Uh, feeling now that this person is willing to be single for the rest of their life rather than settle for anything less. They're waiting for Virgo. And if Virgo never wakes up or Virgo never comes forward or Virgo never decides that this is the one for them, because by the way, this is the king of love. There is no better than to have this one. Then uh, they're like, fine, I, I'm okay alone. I'm still a uh, I still have a successful life. I'm still secure. I'm still good. I'm still grateful. But I'd rather be alone. Than not have this true love. But here you are taking your time. Perhaps this is them too. Knowing that this is going to take time. And are you willing to invest in that time that it will take? Nine of Fire, Queen of Cups. We have healing here. Whatever these boundaries are, we've got the King and Queen of Cups now. So whatever these boundaries that you've had up, Virgo, this person is crashing them down. And look, their cup is full. Whatever you were depleted from, they've got the cup to refill it. Strength. Took you a lot of courage and a lot of bravery. You know, for some of you, Virgo, you might have had to watch someone you love leave. You know, leave. Cross the water. Get on a boat. Leave. But they are returning. And it's taken a lot of strength and courage to maintain. Uh, tame your ego. Tame the beast. Walk your talk. It's almost... Uh, a proof in the pudding. You didn't think I could do that? Yeah. You knew it took a... Yeah, you guys. This was a long, drawn-out process, but you are moving to calmer waters together. You are finally moving to calmer waters together. And I get such a peaceful feeling whenever I see this card. Such a peaceful... Feeling of unity. The celebration card. Yes, sir. -y. That's it. This is celebration. This is your wish fulfillment. And you're getting your wish fulfillment. There will be a reunion. With someone you love. And you will celebrate together. It's moving very quickly towards you. This brand new beginning, Virgo, is moving very, very quickly towards you now. It's picking up speed. This brand new beginning. This blessing from heaven. Feeling left out in the cold. Not for long. Not for long. There's something coming in. Now, like I said, it's your birthday month. It could be a present coming in. And all of a sudden, you just don't feel left out in the cold anymore. Oh, I didn't think they even thought about me anymore. Some kind of an offer is coming in. 
to take you both out of the cold. Sun. Oh, yeah. Look at this. You're ready to birth something brand new. Brand spanking new, Virgo. That's fantastic. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. I hope you join me over there. If it resonates for you, make a comment underneath it to ask me to pull you a card, and I'll help personalize it for you that way. And I think everything is in the description. God bless you all. Join us at Facebook for the daily messages. Hit me up for a personal reading. They're cheaper if you're a member. And God bless you all. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.